we finally got an extended look at the upcoming Mario movie. There's plot to deduce, some fun possibilities teased, and a bit of catharsis to round it all out. It's time for the latest news. Out of animation. Nintendo and Illumination finally dropped the second trailer for the Mario movie, and in a startling moment of art imitating life, the inhabitants of the Mushroom Kingdom seem every bit as skeptical of Chris Pratt's Mario voice as we are. We see the Toads and Princess Peach excited to see Mario in action as he steps out to face Donkey Kong. However, the mighty monkey pounds the plumber right into the ground, laying into him with ease. The crowd winces at the sight. It's pretty clear that Mario isn't going to be starting off this film as the Koopa-crushing one-jump man we're all familiar with. We see him struggling with basic platforming, falling repeatedly to his doom. He can't even deal with a single cheap cheap attacking him. However, we see that at some point, Mario manages to get his hands on the Tanuki suit and can use it pretty effectively. He must grow into his abilities eventually, right? We also get a shot of the bros in a more modern street. Fans have eagerly speculated that this could be New Donk City. However, we also see a world map later in the trailer, and there's no sign of any large city on it. Which means that it's quite likely we're actually sticking with a plot similar to the original Mario movie, with Mario and Luigi not being residents of the Mushroom Kingdom. Instead, they're a pair of brothers from the real world brought here to help fight against Bowser and his minions. This explains his initial lack of competence in general Mario skills. He's an everyman who has to learn those abilities with time. Until then, well, hopefully Princess Peach can fill in for him. We've seen Peach with a gun before over in the Mario and Rabbit series, but those were weird fantastical nerf guns. Here, she's sporting a pretty realistic looking battle axe. She's giving off strong Princess Leia vibes in this trailer, especially with her actively planning to lead a toad army against Bowser's invasion. Hopefully, Peach will be able to fight Bowser rather than just get kidnapped by him this go around. Speaking of the King of Koopas, he's aiming high. We knew he was trying to take over the world. We see his army and his castle is moving towards the Mushroom Kingdom. However, later on, Princess Peach mentions that multiple galaxies are counting on the heroes. We even see Mario and Luigi being pulled through space in a rainbow wormhole that may be this film's take on Super Mario Galaxy's interstellar travel. It looks like Bowser may be aiming bigger than we thought. Could he be targeting Rosalina's stellar observatory? It's clear that this film is going to be a wide-ranging celebration of Mario lore. Even Luigi appears to be sporting his familiar Poltergust vacuum cleaner. Much more prominent is Mario leading a Mad Max-style army of carts up Rainbow Road. If we count the potential references to Odyssey and Galaxy we've already brought up, that's four big Mario games with significant importance to the plot. While Chris Pratt's voice remains uh, less than stellar, this movie really is shaping up to be a celebration of everything Mario. The only question is, how much more can they get in there? Might Luigi get brainwashed into Mr. L? Could we get an action scene on Isle Delfino? As soon as we learn more, we'll be sure to share it with you, dear viewer. After all, it's our job to pass on the latest news out of animation.